Hey, what's up you guys? It's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So as you can see by my camera in the background, I am filming on my iPhone today. That camera right there takes a long time to focus on things. So for my makeup collection, I wanted to be able to get you guys a good view of what everything is and like quickly and not have to stop every five seconds to focus. But so I will be using this, um, but next Friday's video will be better quality, I promise. And yeah, I'm super excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, just like a little bit about why I'm actually doing this now a year into my channel. Um, I just recently cleaned out all my makeup, got rid of all my old stuff, and I got new drawers for my makeup. Um, I'll show you guys my vanity and stuff. It wasn't all fitting in there and I it was looking very cluttered and bad. So I went to TJ Maxx and bought some things uh, to store them in temporarily until I have enough money saved to get the Alex drawers from Ikea, which I'm super excited about when I finally can buy them. Um, so yeah, let's just get on with the tour. Okay, so here is an overview of my makeup and the new drawers I was telling you guys about. Um, so right here, this stuff right here is all my hair stuff, so I won't do this in this video because um, it's not really makeup related. And also I'd like to point out that I am missing one of the handles. I've had this since I was 18, so I think I took pretty good care of it for having it for four years, but um, it did get old and now there's a handle missing. So just getting that out of the way. So I will walk over here and first thing we have is a little candle that my friend Cecily got me for Christmas and I thought it was really cute to just set on the desk and I can light it when I do my makeup and it smells really nice. So next up I just have this little wine glass that says Emily. Um, my cousin actually gave me this for being a bridesmaid in her wedding. And I don't really drink any alcohol, so I was never going to use it as a wine glass. So I thought it would be cute to put my beauty blenders in because then I get to see it every day. And I think it's, oh, that's cute. It has bridesmaid in the date. Um, but then I get to see it every day and it's special to me. So, yep, that's where I put all my beauty blenders. And the blue dress was the dress that I wore for her wedding. And it matches my room, as you could see. So that's really neat. Um, so then we'll come over here. This is all my face brushes that I have. I keep them just in this little container right here. Just looks like this. And then right next to it is all my eyeshadow brushes. Then right here I have my Winky Lux. This was the first PR package I ever got as a small YouTuber. And they just wrote me like a little personal note. So it is like really special to me. So I just keep it right there. And then right over here is just this mirror. So it's two-sided and one side isn't magnified, but the other side is. So I've never used the one <laughs> that's really magnified because uh, if I did, I probably wouldn't want to leave the house. So anyways, coming over here. So now I'll show you guys this. This is just a little decor that I keep here. My friend Krista actually made me this for Christmas last year, I believe. Um, so I keep it there for a cute little decoration. And then over here, I just have some facial sprays. So this is my Mario Badescu skincare fa facial spray. And I have this Restore Facial Serum. I actually got this at TJ Maxx. I haven't tried it out yet, but I've been wanting a facial oil, so I thought I'd give that a go. And then I have this Pearlescence Rose Water Hydrating Face Mist. I actually don't use it. Um, I got that at TJ Maxx as well. I just kind of keep it as like little decoration or whatever so now I come to this I had a lot more acrylics on this and it was just looking really overcrowded so I decided to put some in storage for when I could use them next and just use a cup uh the one that I needed for currently so the first drawer you pull out and I just have some like free samples it's nothing really special I've never opened them I got it from either Sephora or Ulta a while ago and then you go in this drawer and I have my lip pencils, lip liners, I should say. Um, I'm not really a big lip liner person, but when I do use lip liners, I tend to use NYX. So that's just, I have like how many? Five. So that's all I'm really using. Um, and then in here I have some more NYX stuff. These are their jumbo pencils. Um, and these are nice to like put on before your eyeshadow because it kind of sticks and makes it more pigmented. 
and this is a universal brow or something like that from Winky Lux and I just keep it in here because I feel like it's the best place for it and then I just have this Makeup Forever Aqua XL eyeliner in the back. So now we move on to this drawer and I have all my mascaras. I had a lot more but a lot of them are old and dry and stuff and that's not good because you could get an eye infection so I had to throw those out. But these are the ones that are still good. So I have my CoverGirl, uh, another CoverGirl Makeup Forever. My favorite one right now, the Maybelline Last Sensational. I love it. I have this one over here, the Total Tease by CoverGirl. Um, Voluminous by L'Oreal, a Lorac one, and the Better Than Sex. It's kind of like a sample size. And that is what I have in there. When you open the drawer, I have a lot of my lip products in here. It's mostly lip products, to be honest. Um, so we'll just start, I guess we'll start what, with what isn't a lip product. So I have my three favorite eyeliners over here. Um, they are the Revlon Skinny Liner. These are the only ones I buy. As you can see, I have three of them. Um, they've always been my favorite. I don't know why. And then I just have this Duo Lash Glue. And I have some things for when I do my individual lashes. It's um, the adhesive and also the unadhesive. I don't know, whatever takes off the lashes. So then we come over here and I have a lot of my lip products. Um, most of them are mattes except these two, which is the Fenty Beauty and this Bite Cosmetics, which is a lip gloss. Um, I have Melted, Revlon, um, Mary Minerals, NYX, Kat Von D, uh, more NYX, ColourPop, and Stila. I also have the Fenty Lip Gloss and the Fenty Lipstick. Um, this is Too Faced Lip Gloss, and then I just have like a wet one and like some random ones down there. Um, so then this is my chapstick. I have Burt's Bees and my favorite EOS. Um, I don't know. I just think these are so cute and they both smell so good, so I love them. So come over here and there is two Ulta lip glosses and the Winky Luxe Balm that I got in my PR package, which I think is so cute. It has like a little flower in it. So then this is just a um, pencil sharpener for like eyeliners and stuff, lip liners, whatever. And I have two Kat Von D studded lipsticks. I have the mini Tarte lipstick that came in my birthday gift from Sephora. Yeah, that's what it was. And um, I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited to use that. This one's empty for right now. Don't have anything to put in it. And then here are some lip glosses. So I have Buxom, Lorac, um, some Anastasia, and another Buxom in that container. And then I just had this little hand sanitizer in case I want to sanitize my hands or anything. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. And this is my personal favorite um, of my collection. Um, a lot of the good stuff is in this, so let's get started. So first of all, that thing in the back that's like protruding, that is just a little perfume sample kit that my mom gave me for Christmas. Um, I didn't want to put it on my dresser because I just felt like it would look crowded on my dresser. But I feel like it looks really nice there, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it there. So I will zoom you guys in on what's on top. So this is one of the acrylics I was talking about. Um, I just recently bought these and they're super helpful. Krista actually got me some too for Christmas last year, um, but they're really helpful to store all my makeup. So let's get started. Um, these are the Anastasia little mini lipsticks. They came in the holiday kit set, I believe. It was for the holidays, I'm pretty sure. My friend Cecily got me these for Christmas, so thank you Cecily if you are watching. And we'll come over here and I just have two full-sized Anastasia lipsticks. So next up, I will go ahead and show you these. These are all my NYX um, lipsticks and what are these called? These are the Soft Matte Lip Creams. Um, I have a bunch of different colors of them. Um, so I just put them up here. I like to kind of keep my lipsticks branded together. Um, so then we're going to come down here. I have two big size Stila Magnificent Metals. These have grown on me a lot. I used to not like them, but now I'm obsessed with them. And then I have a couple mini ones over here. They're the same ones, except ones are glitter and ones are like a shimmer color, which I think is super neat. 
So then we'll come over here. I have four mini size Bite Cosmetics lipsticks right here. And then I have the four MAC lipsticks that I own. I currently don't buy MAC just because they aren't cruelty free. And if you guys notice that I have something in here that isn't cruelty free, then let me know. Call me out on it because I want to know. Um, also, I'm not going to throw these away because, I mean, I already bought them. So I feel like it would be even more of a waste to throw them away. So I just keep them here. And then up here, there are some Bite Cosmetics as well. These are kind of like different packagings of Bite Cosmetics. but Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull out the first drawer. This is my face um, drawer pretty much for the most part, like foundation and concealer and primer. So we'll start over here. I have the Lorac CC Cream. I have two infallible foundations, which aren't my color right now, but that's okay. We will save them for summer. I have the L'Oreal Lumi True Match, which is really nice for the winter time because I feel like it makes my skin not look as dry because I have combination skin. And then I have the, what is this? Oh, the Fit Me. <laughs> uh, the Fit Me um, foundation. I just bought this actually, so it's still in its prime. And then I have this Tarte foundation, the Amazonian Clay. And I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation, which you guys know I love this. I love this. I love this for the price point. I think it's awesome. So that's my two cents on that. Um, so we'll come over here. And we'll look at my concealers. I don't really have a whole lot of concealers. Um, I have the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me. I have the Master Conceal by Maybelline. So, okay, I want to talk about this for a second because I don't feel like this gets any credit. This gives so much more coverage than the Tarte Tape Shape, Shape Tape. I always say tape shape, I don't know why, but this gives so much more coverage. I mean, you guys, this is half the price, and it just, to me, is so much better. I love this, um, but beware, it definitely is full coverage, so um, just use it carefully <laughs> if you're going to use it, or don't. I mean, I'm not one to judge. So lastly, I have the Tarte Shape Tape, which I like. Um, I don't know if this like breaks me out or not. I can't decide so I kind of just use it under my eyes right now um, But yeah, I still like it. I still think it gives good coverage um, So now I will go ahead and talk about my primers So I have the Smashbox photo finish hydrating primer. I have this Becca primer I have the pore professional which is my favorite 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 primer ever I have this honey do me up which I actually got from Very Dice. I had to think about it for a second, which is this online thing that you could play for free stuff. Um, if you guys want to know about it, I made a video about it last video, so I'll link it down below. Um, it was not a scam, which I was happy about. I actually got this for free just for playing a game. Um, that does take time, so I don't want to mislead you, but anyways, back on to what we were saying. So next, I have the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. I'm really excited to use this. I've been eyeing it. For a long time and my friend got it for me for Christmas so I'm very thankful and I'm really excited to use it so um, and then last off in here I have my all-nighter spray from Urban Decay which is my all-time favorite um, some people said when they changed the packaging they didn't like it anymore I didn't really notice a difference but that's just me um, but I still use it all the time so okay so next drawer we have are my large palettes that I use all the time so we'll start here. Um, I have the Modern Renaissance palette, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, the Naked 2 palette, the Naked Heat palette, um, my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye palette, I have the Lorac Pro Mega 3 palette, and I have my new baby, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I haven't used it yet, but I'm super excited to use it because I've heard so many good things and I've seen so many reviews on it and I'm just really excited. So next up I have my little eyeshadow palettes. So we'll start off over here with the Winky Lux eyeshadow palette. You guys know I love this. I talk about it all the time. Um, not only because I got it from PR but because I like it and I cannot open it to show you guys to save my life. Oh there we go. Um, so it just looks like that. I really enjoy this palette. Um, I have the Tartlet Toasted palettes. I have some random Clinique palettes over here that I never really use, but I didn't want to throw them away because they were nice eyeshadows. 
Um, I have the NYX Ultimate Palette and the NYX Ultimate Palette again. I also have this little trio and I have my two Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palettes. One's in Plum and one's in the color Rust. And then I just have this little um, single shadow from Urban Decay, which is like this goldish shade. It's pretty. So I keep it in there. So next up, I have this kind of miscellaneous drawer. Um, it doesn't really have any rhyme or reason. I guess it's just stuff that I need that doesn't belong in any of the other drawers. So I have my makeup remover wipes from Neutrogena. I only use this for my eyes because I'm really picky about what I put on my face. But um, it definitely does do the trick for eye makeup. I have my Clinique uh, Smart Night Moisturizer. You guys know this is in my favorites video. I love this. Like I just said, I'm really picky about what I put on my face, but I would 100% recommend this. I have such bad dry skin in the winter, and this really took care of me without giving me any clogged pores or breakouts, so that's good. Then I have this Mario Badescu Cucumber Tonic Mask, which I haven't used yet, but I'm excited to use it. Um, and here, Clinique, oh my gosh, this is my favorite eye makeup remover, 100% gets the job done, um, I just love it so much, I always repurchase this, and this is my Makeup Forever Sensitive Eyes, which is also a makeup remover, but I have not tried it yet, so, can give you guys an honest review, but then I just have some little makeup applicators over here, um, these two. And then I have these scrunchies that I use to put in my hair. You guys know I love scrunchies more than rubber bands because they don't necessarily pull your hair out. So that's always a plus. And my friend Krista's cousin got me this for Christmas, which is so cute. I love it so much. So thank you, Gia, if you're watching. Um, she said that, Krista said that she picked this out specially for me. So it's very sweet of her. Um, it comes with a bunch of different stuff. I think this is actually really helpful, especially if you're on the go or something. It has a lot of helpful things for you, and I'm excited to use it. Okay, so next up, I'm going to have my blush drawer. So I have a couple things from NARS. Um, this actually had a, I'll show you, I guess. This had a bronzer and a blush in it, but I used all the bronzers, so now it's just blush. Um, but I have this in here. It looks kind of bad, I'll admit, but <laughs> it still works good. Um, I have the Smashbox, which is like a trio blush. If I could open it, there we go. Um, yeah, very pretty. These are the colors that come with them. Very pretty. I haven't used these yet. Um, and then I just have this NARS single blush in here. I have two of the Tarte blushes. I have a Revlon cream blush, which I always wanted to try, but I haven't got around to it. And then I just have this NYX random blush that I like because it's kind of subtle. I have this NARS blush that came with a highlighter, a bronzer, and three blushes. But once again, <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and bronzers because I'm so pale. But I used all the bronzer. And now just the highlight and the three, shot, er, the three blushes are left. So I'm going to use those up. And then I have the Anastasia blush kit, which I'm really excited about. There it is. Very beautiful. And that is it for my blush drawer. So next up, I have kind of just like my face stuff round two that didn't make it to the first drawer. So first off, I have some Revlon um, powder. I have my Winky Lux powder. And I have a NYX powder. They're all translucent except for the Winky Lux. Um, the Winky Lux has a little bit of color to it, but nothing too bad. Um, then I have my Becca highlighters, which I love. One of them is in Champagne Pop, and the other one is in Moonstone. And then, okay, I can't pull it out anymore, but I have my Too Faced bronzer, and I have my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Sorry, I had to think about it. And then you come over here, and I have my Stila Contour Kit, which I don't know how I feel about it yet. You guys are telling me to give it another try, so I will give it another try. But this is just what it looks like, and... I have this Bare Minerals powder. One's like a highlighting powder and the other one's just matte. I haven't tried it yet, but this is just what it looks like. So this one is the highlighted one and this one is the normal one. So I guess we'll give that a try. And I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's the cream contour in the shade Fair. So now you'll come over here. I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet. 
but I'm really excited to still use this. Um, also, I have the Anastasia Glow Kit in here, and I just have this random Clinique thing. It's kind of like an on-the-go because it's like really compact, and just if I ever need to touch up in the car, I'll take that with me. And that is it for this drawer. Okay, so the next drawer is my last drawer. I don't have like a ton of them right now because of the holidays. I was actually doing my makeup a lot. Um, but as you could tell, I definitely love Hardell Wispies. Um, they're honestly my favorite. Um, I keep this case because I'm actually wearing these ones right now. I just think it's better than leaving them on like your tissue box in the bathroom or whatever. It's more hygienic to just put them back in the case if you're going to reuse them. And then I have these scissors in case I have to cut any of them for any reason. Okay, and the last one, this always gets stuck on my carpet, which is so inconvenient, but whatever, we're fine, um, is my makeup bag drawer. So this one is came with my It Cosmetics brushes. The brushes pattern looks exactly like this glitter, and it is just so pretty. I love it so much. My parents gave this for me, gave this to me for Christmas last year. And it's really cute. And this is kind of like my travel bag. It just says private on it. Um, I like to keep my makeup in there or any medicine or anything when I go traveling. And then over here, I have two Real Techniques carrying cases, I suppose. Um, they just came with the brushes that I had bought. And I keep them for traveling and stuff in case I ever need them. So, Okay, last thing. I don't know if I was going to show this or not, but I thought, mm, what the heck. Maybe you guys would want to see it. This is like the chair that I sit in to do my makeup, but it actually takes the top off and wow, magical. I keep all my electronic stuff in here. Um, that's my Canon carrying case. And yeah, I just want to include that because it's, I just think it's cool. And I know it's not makeup related, but it is in my makeup chair. So just thought it'd be worth showing you that that could open up. <laughs> So that is it for my makeup collection. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it for you guys. Did you guys see anything in my makeup collection that you have or that you want or that you love or anything like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, like I said, this is just temporary setup so I can get the Alex drawers. So yeah. But anyways, uh, I love you guys so much. And if you liked this video, be sure to like it and subscribe. And I will see you in my next Friday video. Bye, guys. Love you.